Okay, look, it's Lucky. And she has been having a field day with this box. I got the collar on her and I'm so excited. She is officially a collar girl. Hello. But anywho. <clears throat> so, we, well, I'm watching. <laughs> well, listening to Damn Internet is Scary. And obviously it's getting a little chaotic because packages, cat deliveries. So, got the collar, got the calming pheromone one. She did not like that. So, I took it off for her immediately because I didn't want her to hurt herself trying to take it off. I will try it again if the spray doesn't work. Um, but we're just trying to keep all duties and other activities that are done because of the bowel movements within the litter box until I'm able to get the new litter box, which is right here, put together and try a different litter. So it's a lot of experimenting, call me a scientist if you will. And I'm currently building her uh, new scratch pose because the one she has currently over there is kind of not giving for me personally. Like I want her to have a place to lay, which this one does and still have the scratch and the balls and all that other stuff but yeah so that's what i'm currently doing with my morning hopefully i'm able to get this done um before 11 that would be great and then i want to take like a little nap um i did sleep from like 4 30 to 4 30 to 5 30. no was it 4 30 actually it was before that I don't remember when I left work, but I know I didn't stay up that much longer after my drive back home. Picked up some fast food, ate it, watched a little bit of Caleb Hammer, the financial audit guy, and then I dozed off, didn't realize it, and then I closed my iPad and then I was out for the rest of the day into the new day. And your girl is going to be working extra shifts, not at my current job, but... Um, there's an app that you can pick up like warehouse shifts and stuff so <clears throat> um, basically I picked up two of those and unfortunately they are second into overnight so from 4 30 p.m. to 3 in the morning which is quite literally the opposite shift of what I normally work which is where I'm getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning my off time is normally 3 p.m. well is 3 p.m. but I've been getting off of work earlier so i leave around 1 or 2 30 so yeah i'm just like oh it's gonna kill me but it must be done because like caleb said not to me personally but just taking the advice he's given to others it's like with your current situation you don't have the luxury of you know catering to your wants and a want is for me to just exist and not do anything on the weekends where that's a zero dollar day and a zero dollar day is not a good day for me because i need to make as much money as possible if i'm trying to pay off everything pay off all of this debt um and also what's it called just wanting to relax and not have to work as hard so i'd rather do that now than have the mentality of oh let me live my best life now and then it's an even even bigger like uh what do you say balloon that hits me way harder and is pretty much impossible to get out of so i've flipped my mentality flipped my mindset because i I've, I've always been the one who's like i'd rather get it done and out the way now but then i started procrastinating and slacking very heavily because you know i started believing like you know i shouldn't have to pay it off right now i should enjoy my best life now listening to other people and it's like looking at their situations they are in really not the greatest situations but they're playing pretend if you know, you know if you will like it's like you see it in your peripheral but you're not addressing it and i don't want to see it in my peripheral i don't want to see it in my direct line of vision the debt the problems i want it completely gone so i can truly live my best life and then of course have a backup so if things do hit the fan i'm not over here with a current balloon adding another balloon of just financial problems if that makes sense but i definitely highly recommend his videos if you want to feel a little bit better about your situation or just feel like you're not alone and just get that advice that you need from a stranger definitely recommend oh lucky you're saying hello here's her collar real close 
as stars in the moon. It's not finished yet, ma'am. Can I put it together for you? Uh, I've been having to pick her up and like scoop her away. But yes, this is lucky. Yeah. Go play with the boxes in the bags like you've been doing. So, yeah. So that's pretty much just like an update on what I'm doing, my plan. And like I said, beggars can't be choosers. Broke people should never laugh like Nicki Minaj's uh, quote. It's just a lot of that stuff is playing in my mind. And I just know that if I kept going with the mindset that I had previous before making this shift, this active shift, that I was going to fall back into the cycle of being depressed, which depression just hits me regardless because it's sad. Um, the seasonal affective disorder, depression, whatever it is, I don't know. Whenever it gets really dark and it's dark all the time, though I love darkness, love the stars and all that, everybody needs light you need the vitamin d the sunlight the just change of environment but yeah it's, it's gonna mess me up but i'm trying not to have you know added reasons to be you know in that state of mind so it's just a lot but we're getting it together starting slowly but surely I'm gonna enjoy the little events that i did already you know pay for so a couple concerts a couple trips to see my friend and then after that we're not going to be doing much of anything until things are paid off and the goal is to have everything paid off if not by the end of this year before summer of 2024 which is pretty doable for my personal amount compared to a lot of these people it's like me and of course with the state that i live in there's a lot of warehouse opportunities so and my job is one of those jobs where it's not like hey we don't have anything for you, so we're going to be sending you home. It's like, even if they don't have anything for you, they'll find you something to do. So I am able to get uh, 40 hours a week, like consistently if I chose to stay. But <sighs> I just knew with the two days that I'm doing here <clears throat> at this other place that I was like, hold on. Let me just take the necessary sleep that I need to get get that out the way and then I'll go back to you know stay till my end time each day work the days that I can and then if Fridays are optional still at my main job I'm not going to work Fridays there because I don't like working Fridays there it's just that's a whole different mm. so I will just do the warehouse shifts at the other place instead which are much easier and whatnot but yeah so that's the plan and I will give you guys an update on my current numbers once I get them all together which will probably on Sunday and then I need to definitely make sure I record in a way where you guys can see like my chart of like this is the number, but this is how it's broken down. So this is car debt, this is credit card debt, this is this debt and that debt and all that. So yeah, anywho, I will check in with you guys on Sunday. Just wanted to give you guys an update on what I plan to do. So bye. Was that upside down? Or right side up? Okay, no, that was right. Yay.